What's going on, everybody? Doc here, Average Gamer Guys, back again. Last day on Earth action, and we are in a different location. <laughs> Multiplayer. We're jumping in today. Uh, this is not something... So, <clears throat> let me give my background here quickly on multiplayer. Uh, when the original multiplayer system was built and introduced to the game, I actually played it a decent amount. It is much different than it used to be in that iteration. Now, I don't know much of the history between the first kind of implementation and that system to where we are currently, but I figured it would be fun and it's smart for us to jump in just to see what this is about, have some interesting times and see just the kind of gameplay loop. I will say going into this, I spent yesterday just doing some basic stuff, just getting some basic upgrades going. I have nobody in my clan, so that's an important thing that I should note. Um, I'm just trying to kind of get some progression and really see as a, really as a solo player, how far can we progress? How much can we get done with that being said? Now we had some resources and some things left over. Again, we farmed some things yesterday to get some stuff going. So what I wanna do today is just jump in, spend some time, talk about it, I've got a few little tactics and tips and tricks to kind of consider and to take a look at. And there's some important things to note. These are separate characters. That is really important. There's no sharing of resources. There's not even any sharing of energy. The only resource that I have found that we actually do share is if we go into here, our stockpile and our stash, we can utilize energy drinks in both the wasteland and in the crater. So if you need to move from place to place, if you have energy drinks for whatever through the season pass or through other means, you can use this and we can jump in and uh, do some stuff like that. We have some food and some water here. I'm actually probably gonna take these. We do get these to get reset. We do have some stuff that we've been able to pick up through a couple of different means. So I wanna just showcase that. We'll probably actually use our HK416 potentially today to do one thing. And then we did also go and we knocked out one of the tournaments and we're able to get some scouts equipment. Um, so all that stuff being said, this is what we've got. This is what we can do. I did spend uh, a little bit of coins and I actually will probably spend some coins grabbing some weapons here. So I'm just gonna do that. I don't know if this is smart or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I think grabbing some of these higher quality weapons is pretty cool, it's pretty cool. We can get some chopper models. If we want to do that, I'm not going to do that because I don't care about skins. Uh, so that's where we're at right now. So let's jump in and talk about this. There's a couple of different dynamics, which I actually think is really cool about the multiplayer piece of it. The first and foremost thing is that this really revolves around shops and having people have the ability to come to your store and to be able to purchase things. That's essentially a lot of what you're doing here with your community is building up your shop, listing items uh, to then you know be able to sell some stuff and really to go from there. So that part is pretty cool. You have your ability to upgrade things here. We need to actually get counter foils uh, in order to continue progression, but we're at business level nine, just solo. I feel is pretty good. That's not bad. We get the opportunity to open up motorcycle PVP, workbenches. There's a lot for us to continue to work here. Extra pocket actually feels like it would be really, really big here. Um, so. I want to see if we can continue to progress through that to see if we can get this stuff. So we're gonna jump back in and play multiplayer. I'm not gonna focus on this as much as I do the main game. We're making good progression there. We don't have a ton else to do on the main game. So jumping into some multiplayer seems to make sense for us. Um, so that part is pretty cool. So I do wanna try to see if we can't get up to 13 and, uh, and go from there. Um, I think you know, one thing that it would be nice to do would be to maybe start dropping some resources in. So I think that's kind of my focus today. The other thing that we've looked at doing here is utilizing contracts as well as starting to build up some of our ability to make some resources. So I wanna grab some things here. We've been able to make uh, both this and this, which is good. And I think this, we're gonna get close to being able to make a stone cutters table here. I need some more of that resource. Essentially what happens is, is as you upgrade this, you get the ability to create additional workbenches here, uh, which is an important component, obviously, of continuing to get some research done. The other thing is we've been trying to do is make our best use of these contracts here 
uh, to, to do that. So what I want to do, clearing out toxic spitters. This could actually be really good for what we want to get done. Purchase items from sellers. Uh, and we can get some of these back. Maybe we look at doing that. Could sell some stuff. Could open some stashes. So one of the first things I'm going to do here is focus on trying to see if I can't complete a tournament uh, and get some rewards from that. So I'm going to focus on opening stashes here. You can take two contracts at once. I'm also going to kill toxic spitters. So we're going to go to look to do that. And we'll showcase what that's looking like here in a second. So I want to grab this. I'm actually going to split this down. This will make a decent amount of charcoal for us. Actually, I'm going to use the charcoal to fire these up. Um, we have two storages here, a personal storage and a clan storage. Again, I don't have anybody in my clan. Let's put everything we can away here. That's filled up. I'm going to just probably use, oh, we could use, can't use this storage. Let's put it all here. I have some resources. Let's just get rid of some armors here. I don't need these. I don't think. I'm going to drop a few things in here. We seem to find armor pretty consistently. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too big of a grind to be able to do that. So that's not bad. Let's see. We've made some water as well. I'm going to go ahead. Go ahead. Excuse me. I'm going to shower. I'm going to drink this water bottle. Um, there's some pretty cool, unique things about how this is set up. This is not how it used to be also, uh, which I think is, is pretty cool. Let me use this and then I'll drop these in here. Let's see, what do we need? We don't need anything from food, but we can use the berries. We want to do that. I'm not too stressed about having this. Let's look to see here. Is there anything in the resources that I want to make use of? Um, cutting these down would be pretty smart. I'm kind of stocking up some stone because I want to be able to use the stone cutter when we get access to it. There are some a lot of similar resources in this. There are a lot of also different resources uh, for us to take a look at. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Just put the meat in here. Um, okay, feeling pretty good, pretty good with that. Let's go ahead, drop these in, start, start making some planks. And I can go ahead and craft a bandage out of this. So the cool part here is we do have a lot of blueprints to open. We've got a lot of progression to make in the multiplayer, which is also really why I wanted to jump in, start having some fun here. Um, Yeah, so we need to go ahead and we need to find some resources that I would want to sell here. I'm actually thinking about doing these two. Maybe we sell these two. Put this away. I don't know that I'll... Uh, we'll keep that just in case. Nah, I'll put this away too. Let's go ahead and put some things up for sale here. Price per, let's see if we can get some, some traffic here. And let's put the meat up as well. Put these up for 25, sell. So we can get some counterfoils. We actually need these. So we do need some traffic here. We need 150 uh, in order to get that and get some progression up to level 10. And then hopefully we can work try to do that now let's see if we can't get some i don't think i can do this quite yet which is unfortunate so we'll see if we get any traffic here to get this stuff sold maybe we need to put all things in every position i'm not sure we have a lot to learn here there a lot to learn here um to try to get some stuff figured out but what I do want to do is go and uh, let's farm some resources and let's get into a tournament. Now, if you have any experience in multiplayer, feel free to share it down below. Again, we're basically a noob at this for the most part. 
Um, but one of the things that I want to go do, and one of the best ways I found to be successful in this is to go, and we'll start our tournament here uh, over in these red zones. Now, I've been hitting the red zones pretty consistently. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make use of our HK. Actually, I'm going to try the handmade rifle out. I don't know how good this is. We've been using some of the... Uh, We've been using uh, some, we had some homemade shotguns. Part of what I think is cool, but I also kind of hope to see maybe in the future is some of the weapons come over to uh, to the to the single player campaign. I'd love to have an MP5. I think it'd be really cool to have um, the HK, although we have the M16, so it's one of those, but tournament has started we need to kill zom zoms and we are in a best position this is how i go ahead and work to do this oh this thing's pretty good yeah this thing's pretty good all right dope oh we're gonna get hit that's fine so there's a couple important notes combat and different aspects of this uh take different time right Attacks are a little bit slower. There's a little bit of almost like I would call a delay. And what that really relates to is the PVP element. Also, uh, storage is you can't put anything back in the storage. Oops. I meant to shoot this guy. We're going to quickly jump up to number one. This has been my technique for doing this. Is I basically just farm red zones. Uh, what happens here during a tournament is as you kill zombies, you get points. Uh, and this is a specific, this is a zombie killing uh, tournament. There are other tournaments. But we've only ran into the zombie killing ones. And essentially what I do is I just use these these weapons uh, to the best of our ability. I use this. There's a use timer for things. Uh, you can see healing. You see how I'm healing a little bit at a time. Uh, so healing and some of the mechanics are, are similar, but just different enough. That's also made this really interesting. This homemade rifle is actually quite good. And essentially what we're doing here is you see us stacking up the points, right? We're stacking up these points as we kill these zombies. Um, and we have a timer here. So we have 20 minutes to kill as many as we can. And we're competing with the other 15 people uh, inside of this. I accidentally uh back inside the range now the other thing to keep in mind is that um i just want to keep focused on killing these guys uh the other thing to keep in mind here is that um uh you've seen some yellow outline zombies i'm sure we'll find another one here shortly um the yellow outline zombies are actually kind of like tournament specific bonus points. You'll see us get uh, extra of these tickets for them, these coupons. Uh, and we also get extra bonus points in terms of the reward. Uh, you see the little skull plus eight there. Uh, yellow outline zombies are gonna allow us to get more points, which is good. So we wanna try to focus on those. We're gonna basically clear this location out I'm gonna just grab like all of this stuff. Um, you can't put anything back in these bags. So it's pretty interesting. And again, that's for the multiplayer dynamic. Um, and like I said, I've actually been enjoying just this experience. It's been a little bit of some things to figure out. I still have lots more to figure out, to be honest with you. Um, I'm gonna take that. I don't really need these. These boots seem pretty good. Like they could be pretty good. Spend a little bit of time. We're gonna use our berries up to heal. I do want to stock up some some first aids, some bandages, and we can certainly get lots of berries. We need to kill toxic spitters. There we go. We got both of our contracts down, which is pretty cool. So that was smart for us to do been able to grab a lot of cloth here what i want to do here we're taking the time out of this 
but we're going to craft all these bandages up. Keep working this. All right, so we're, we're, we're very solidly, I think, in pretty, pretty solid here in first place. I think I've cleared this, so what I want to do now is I'm going to head to another red zone. And uh, that's just how I've been able to have success here. I'm sure at the higher tiers of this, uh, this strategy is probably employed by lots of other folks. <laughs> um, I don't want to, you know, take any credit and say that I'm super smart for thinking of this, but kind of want to use the, try the hunting crossbow, actually. Curious to see. I feel like this homemade rifle is going to be way better than that. Once we clear these two red zones, we'll jump into some of the yellow zones. The obviously the harder the enemy to kill the more points you get this yellow outline here is what I was talking about so we got two of these guys here really quick up front and you see we got a lot of extra points for these guys which is really nice that was worth 80 it's really good and uh popping these guys down that guy is hurting me a lot oh I got oozed Gotta be careful here. It helps us. All right. Let's, let's heal. Let's get full health here. This crossbow's not nearly as good as uh Takes a long time to load this thing. Run, 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 run. Don't want to get hit by that. Shot the deer on accident. There we go. It's fine. Everything's fine. Doing fine. Let's get healed up. I like the healing animation. I think this is cool. I, it makes sense again when you think about the PvP aspect of it. Um, that was the problem with the old system. Was that um, there was a delay, but it wasn't quite as detailed as this. And uh, that made some of the fights feel, if you were just better geared, um, which is just always going to be the case in any multiplayer game, got the better gears, you know, typically going to win. But the system really made it so that you could kind of like farm some things down. It was hard to kill players. From what I recall, that was a long time ago that I played that. So this in mind, how are we doing here? Yeah, we're pretty solidly in the lead. I'm going to try to get to around 1,000 points. That seems to be um, kind of a good good marker for us. We've got our stashes opened up to um, find some solid stuff here. So what I may actually do is use our energy to run back to the base and just refresh some contracts, potentially. I have noticed that the durability of these weapons is much better uh, in multiplayer than it is in single player. You get a lot more use life out of these, which is good. Let's get healed and then stock those up. And then more bendulges. Now, I do feel like you could definitely um, probably, you know, do okay in some of the lower level tournaments with just basic melee weapons uh, if you use this technique. So don't feel like you have to have the weapons. I'm just trying to kind of, I'm basically just trying to easy mode these tournaments and get some wins and get some crates and uh, potentially snowball some gear here to get some progression. So now we sit 668, we're doing really well. This crossbow's not bad. It's not great, it's not bad. The range on these weapons is much better here. I've also noticed this crossbow is actually better, like unequivocally better than in the multiplayer or than in the single player campaign portion zone. Just because of the extended range this has. Get dead. All right, let's get healed. Use some berries to top up the last of it. There we 
we go. I am curious to see how the next level of tournaments will go. And I think if we win this, we get an opportunity to bump up into the next tournament level. I think, I think that's how it works. Oh, run, run, run. We're going to get hit. Dang it. It's not good. All right. We got to just try to tank this and get healed here. Extra pocket here, I feel like would be so huge. I really, really do. All right, let's see. What else do we got? What other zombie bombs we got here? Okay. I think that's it on the zombies. We're about halfway through the tournament here. Pretty solidly in the lead. So I'm going to run back. I'm going to reset our contract. See if there's anything else that is like killing zombies focused. Can I not go back here during this? Maybe I can't go back during a tournament. I might not be able to. I don't know that I've ever done that. So. Is it broken? What's happening here? All right. I'm uh, resetting. Okay. We're still doing okay. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I didn't think it was off limits to go back here to restock on some supplies. That was really weird. I don't know if that, maybe that was a connection issue on my end. I don't know. That was odd. Uh, but I just want to put some stuff away here. Try to do this quickly. I can. Some more stuff away here. I'm going to get rid of this and one of these. These away. We have enough of these. We'll put these away. Fine hanging on to most of that and personal storage. Okay, I think we're good here. Contracts wise, I want to get these turned in at 600 and then another 300. Let's see. Use Metro checkup on other survivors. Show off your fighting skills, join a tournament and win a reward. I'm in one of these right now. Okay. Um, not going to worry about those at the moment. Let's head back out here quickly. Just want to continue our progress here. We'll jump into. And we got a, got a pretty solid lead. I'm going to jump over to this limestone cliff. I ended up wasting a lot of energy because of that bug. That's the only thing I'm a little frustrated by. Uh, cause I would like to run over to this red zone if we can. Got six minutes left here. Now for this yellow zone, I think we'll probably just use our melee weapons. Actually, we've got this golf club we found. We can sneak, can sneak these guys. This golf club seems pretty good. That was 40 points. It's pretty nice comparative to what we're about to get here, which is four. So it's a pretty significant difference. We're just going to kill some zombies. Really what I'm here to do is look for a couple of these stashes. All we have the lead. All right. That one guy is definitely putting up a fight here to get first place. Oh. So. Might need to uh, be smart about this. Head over to that red zone here soon. You can pretty quickly grab some fast points. We're up to three. We're 300 ahead of him. But he's definitely hitting red zones, I feel like, as well, potentially. 
right, I just want to look quickly. There's another stash up here. Hit this. Some good parts. Oh, we got a yellow zombie. I want to try to take out the yellow zombie here for the bonus. Heal up. Let's get our crossbow back on. Oh, I'm getting hit by that. That sucks. All right. I'm out of here. <laughs> I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Yeah, we got a, we got a pretty good little buffer here. Let's get over to this red zone. And let's just secure this victory with four minutes left. What's in this crate? Some pretty solid stuff, it looks like, actually. Good potential for some weapons, so it could be fun. I want to just get a couple hundred more points. Just make sure we space this lead out. All right. I think we got two floater bloaters same time this could be dangerous oh we're gonna get hit oh shoot oh that's the closest i've come i am gonna grab this thing this looks cool and I also want to make sure I don't die Let's see how this is 36 damage oh here we go nice nice accidentally shot the deer boom Check the stash, see if we get anything good. I do feel like these stashes in multiplayer are much more diverse. You find a lot of different stuff in these, which I think is really cool. Yeah, and I think there's some, some things that they've done in this comparative to the main game, the solo experience that I feel like they could, I don't wanna say learn from, but like, you know, could look to do a little differently. Get dead. That guy's worth 32. That's a lot. I always said, yeah, we should be good. With two minutes left, we'll pummel down a handful more enemies here. Ah! Like, Oozer. Oozer, I think, is a really cool enemy, actually. Take that toxic spitter. Should lock it up. Yeah, we're we're we are strongly, strongly ahead. Now again, I went easy mode on this, so don't uh don't flame me too much in the comments, but I I wanted to try to get some wins, obviously. And uh we have some resources, so use them up, be smart with them. Like is always a good thing to do. We're going to hopefully turn these back into some more resources and put ourselves in another position to potentially win some more tournaments. We've got 50 seconds left. 400 points. I feel like it's going to be hard to overcome in that time period. The deer, I will say, are much stupider. Weapon broke. You know what I should do? Should kill this guy. Ah! No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. See you later. I'm good. Thank you, zombies. I'm a good. I'm okay. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Seven seconds. We're gonna get the W. Tournament's over. Now, the cool part about this is we get 8,000 coupons, which is really neat. We'll get these crates here. We'll get this Seekers Cup Tournament Cup. And, uh, yeah, Stalker's Tournament. Now we can head up to the next one. Go to the next one. Next tournament. Plus, we get that complete. So, let's run back here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use... We use a lot more energy, I feel like, in this multiplayer mode. Not necessarily a bad thing. Um, so also how I understand these zones to work, these zones essentially reset and move around once you go to visit them and uh, uh, do some things and get some resources. Now, I don't know exactly how the reset works. So if somebody has that information, that would be helpful to share down below. But um, we could head back to this. Uh, but again, this is going to despawn at some point and then respawn. And what I think that's trying to do is, again, encourage... Especially, I think, once you get to the PvP component, encourage some of those interactions. At least, that's how it was in the past. So, the good part here. Let's see, I don't think anything sold for us, which is unfortunate. Uh, we need some opportunities to sell some things. I need some counter foils. But, we did get some. We did get this done. So, we'll grab some extra. Um, and so, what we can look to do now is we can purchase some items and we can visit some survivors. So we'll go in that component and we will definitely buy some things. I wanna drop down here, personal storage, put all these away, go into our clan storage and put these away. All right, I'm okay there. Then I will drop in this in here. Making some charcoal. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this charcoal over here. We need to continue to make some iron bars. Yes. Take these and continue to make some charcoal. Because I think charcoal is going to be important to us. So here... We got the opportunity to go to the furniture store. So we'll jump over here really quickly. This has some furniture. You do have a base here, um, which allows you to, you know, kind of build some stuff. But it's more, in my, from what I understand, a little bit more decorative. Um, you can use counterfoils to, to pick up some of these things. You can use these contracts if you want to do that. Um, and uh, I'm not too really concerned about that. Again, currency here, bonds, you rent out warehouses. Your bonds, they can be spent to expand your apartment or exchange for items at the furniture store. So that is what it is. But more importantly here is we can head over to different clans and essentially different trading districts. And we can look to pick up some items, which is what we would want to do here now, um, both to pick up some resources potentially that we need, as well as to get our contracts done, which is over here. Visit, visit districts, we need to do that five more times and then we need to buy some items. Let's take a look at what uh, some folks have here for sale. We could buy some aluminum plates for 3000 I don't know how... It's like really hard for me to tell how useful these are going to be. People do sell a lot of watches and a lot of different things. Let's see what we got here. Some iodine. Dog tags. I feel like springs could be important. Sterile bandages. Got some plastic. Springs, those are a lot. It's a lot of coupons. Lenses, aluminum wire. What I'm looking for actually is just some basic iron. Aluminum plates. The cool part is you can. What is this? Meat soup. Not seen that before. Fabric strips. I haven't seen a ton of fabric strips. I'm going to buy these. I 
and so that let us buy the items i'm thinking about buying these aluminum plates over here that was three thousand this guy's got set up for three thousand to get 20 of them seems like a lot this might be terrible but i'm gonna do this we got what five thousand coupons left Let's head to some more districts. I need iron. I need some, just some iron bars, some basic iron bars, just to finish our uh, stone cutters bench. Now the cool part is you can't buy things from here and then resell them if you want to do that, <laughs> which is also really interesting. You know, so so selling stuff like that would make sense. I feel like buying the 20 that I found of the these was really smart. And let's see if we can find what we need. What is this? Scout's jacket. That's cool. Lots of food. Not seeing any iron bars. All right, that's fine. We need to visit a few more districts here. So the other cool part is popularity. So this is based off of, uh, I think, the conglomerate of the clan and how many people you have and how much popularity, how much they've been able to upgrade, essentially their selling area, um, which is kind of cool. We have iron plates, don't necessarily need those. Some leather there. We got here stone bricks. Ooh, makeshift crossbow. That's kind of cool. Do I buy this? I'm kind of curious to see this. Maybe I just buy this. This guy's got it ready for us. Hopefully if I find some iron bars now, they're not more expensive than 3000. Holy moly. So this is what we had been using. Um, that was pretty solid. I've seen quite a bit of, ha you know, the halibirds here. Um, this person's actually selling one of these, which is wild. I haven't seen that yet. Oh, I got excited. Aluminum bars. All right. A couple more districts here. So again, it's really interesting. The economy piece of it is really cool. I think the way they've handled the clans part is really neat. Uh, I haven't hated um, essentially how they've gone about uh, the locations either. I would really consider this. Golf clubs are actually pretty good. Another handmade shotgun for sale. Yay, I need these. I think that's the last of what I need too. We'll see though. We shall see. Ooh, there's more, there's more. Buying them. Get out of here, get away from me. Ooh, makeshift crossbow, hunting crossbow. That's what we just used. That's pretty good. I just think that diversity of stuff that you can find in here is really cool. Right? People could be selling a whole lot of different stuff. Like this, you know? Like, whoa, what are these? I've never seen a smooth barrel before. Like, if I had the coupons, I kind of regret. If I had the coupons, I would definitely buy these. Because that's probably important. All right, I think we need to visit one more trading district. That finishes it. We got, we got some more barrels here. A lot of food. I think that would be cool too, is if you had a really well situated clan, you could talk about everybody kind of, you know, maybe putting up some different things, right? Um, and just having, a, a, you know, a kind of a diverse set of materials that you're offering, which I think is kind of a neat approach. Iron blades. I look forward to getting some more 
deeper into the crafting piece of this because I think there are some other unique crafts and things. Um, so you can head into apartments here. Uh, we could show you mine, but I don't have a big apartment at all because we just got started here. We haven't been able to upgrade it at all yet from that perspective, but let's get some progression done. We completed the scouting, so we're going to grab both of these. All right. So open stashes always seems like a good one. And floater bloaters also seems like a decent one. We could participate in another tournament. First, I'm going to finalize this. Stone cutter's table. So we can make stone bricks. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's grab some of this. Better some old storage. Put these. Let's see. What else can we put away here? That away. Start making some stone. Some more iron. Some more pine. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. I feel like we're doing okay from supplies perspective. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Go to clan storage. Put anything away here. Nope. I don't really think I need this. I'm curious to test this weapon out. Now we can look to actually rent. I don't have enough counterfoils um, to be able to do that. So we have to rely on our own warehouse here. And I think that's probably the biggest drawback, at least that I'm seeing with this system, is that as a solo player, that's where a lot of my um, difficulty is going to be, I think, is just space and equipment management here. Um, I think is where I'm really going to just probably struggle a bit. But what we can do is we can grab this. I can put this away. I do want to keep making some more. Split this. Do want to keep making some more of that. Some more of this. Do want to keep making more iron. I feel like iron is going to be very important. Again, we can in this. This furnace is pretty good. We can make a whole lot of stuff here. Definitely different resource requirements as we're coming to see. Um, and that's where we're at. We unfortunately... Oh, we did sell some stuff. Look at that. We sold the thing. Yay! Look at this. Okay, we're going to be able to upgrade. Nice. Boom. We got a plank table. Okay. All right, let's put the 200 of these in here. And this would be a blueprint. We're going to get the adhesive iron bar. All right, I think I remember all that. I didn't expect that we would sell anything. But was it adhesive? Iron bar. I think, was that everything? What am I missing? Oh, I need water. Water, 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 water. Grab these. Nice. I honestly didn't think we'd sell anything. Okay got boots i can now craft boots okay so we need to sell some more stuff i need to make some berry tea pine plank and we need some cloth let's see oh i don't have any actually we have the pine planks here Drop these in. We need some more cloth. All right, let's look to see what we can sell. The adhesive actually went pretty good. Maybe we look at selling more of that. You know what else maybe we could sell is maybe like a stack of five bandages. Those might sell. I don't know. 
Maybe a stack of food. Let's throw a few things in here. Let's just see. Then do some bandages. Then do we do maybe like 10 adhesive. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Berries? I don't think anybody will buy the berries. Hello. My shop. Look at that. Wonderful. This gives us popularity. Oh, we have to have 400 popularity. I don't know. We don't. We definitely don't have 400 popularity. We're at 347. We're closing in. <laughs> this gives us popularity. Reminds me of the Vault Boy thumb up. I just finished watching the uh, Fallout Amazon Prime series. Pretty good. Pretty good. Check it out. Check it out if you're a Fallout fan. Would recommend. 10 out of 10. All right. Oh, we had more adhesive here. That's awkward. Kind of want to look to bring over some of the stuff. Some, actually, just keep these berries. Bring some of our food over. Some of the supplies in here. Very T. I think we wait the two minutes and then we'll throw some berries in to make the berry tea that we need here. And uh, we'll be on the hunt for some more cloth. We just need some more. We need some more sales. And uh, yeah, we can rock and roll. Let's see what else we got going here. Happy, with, good with that. Good with this. We're making some stone. We need to get another uh, business level upgraded to get some more workbenches. There are a lot of available workbenches, which is also pretty neat um, for us to be able to do. And uh, let's just go check out our little base now you need a ton to open up this <laughs> um you're gonna see we're gonna go in here and it's it's pretty small it's uh very small <laughs> uh the nice part is is that this space uh space feels you know interesting different look at these boots Starting to get some armor and some stuff. You make some bats, which is cool. Now we have this. Apparently, I can't build it here. I put it right here. I could put it right here. I feel like. Yeah, let's build it. Oh, man. How awesome is that? Can I sit on it? No, I can't. That's it. That's what we got. That's our apartment. It's really good. <laughs> it's literally a two by two. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. So, yeah, that's a basic rundown. That is a basic, basic rundown of where we're at uh, in terms of uh, some multiplayer action. So we're going to be jumping over, having some more fun. I'm going to take place in some additional tournaments, I think, uh, and doing a few things from that perspective. 
uh like i said we're going to continue to you know dabble in this a little bit continue to see if we can't progress um i'm sure there's some good tips and tricks out there i have more to explore and to learn i am very sure of that let's make some berry tea now um but uh so far it's been good it's been interesting it's been unique definitely a different grind and um you know some different requirements but i'm okay with that and i like again the option and the ability to uh you know uh have something else to kind of achieve and to strive for and uh, i don't think that's a bad thing so if you're looking for something else to do in last day on earth you may want to uh may want to consider giving uh, some multiplayer some action so uh we'll definitely stop back and try out some other things but i hope you enjoyed this one something a little bit different here on the channel and um, i'm gonna flash some socials like comment subscribe do the youtube thing for me help me out there would really much appreciate that I'm trying to get to 10k subscribers so every subscription counts be sure to check out some other videos on the channel we'll probably be popping some cards up but we have a ton of last day on earth playlist wasteland survival guide deep dives on mechanics in different locations to help you out we have a raid series if you're into raiding and doing that hopefully as a good resource for you to come check out some bases we have a free to play series we got a whole lot of stuff for you on the channel so be sure to peruse around and see what you like but with that close it out i've been doc average gamer guys thanks for watching catch you in the next one peace